Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Well, this is yeah, Ninth Legion, and let's play some more of the Witcher Free Wild Hunt. So, we are on to a deadly plot. We need to meet with Dijkstra, who wants to involve us with his plan to kill well. the King Radovid. And I don't like Radovid, so we're going to do it. Um, this is a very big, shiny house. We have lots of quarters in the road. Okay, Dijkstra's in a brothel. Why am I not surprised? Um, okay. Excuse me, sorry, excuse me, ladies. Just passing through. Very nice house, though. Very, very posh. Oh, there's a lady in the bath. Okay. White wolf. Welcome to the passive flora. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings. Uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. Okay, so... This way. Marquis okay. Serenity appears to be working with Dijkstra. Or working for Dijkstra, probably. And there was a secret door there, which is kind of cool. Got a bandit at the top of the stairs. He's not hostile to me, that's okay. With your Geralt, up you go. Boss has been waiting. Mm. Some kind of bodyguard. Very nice place. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it, so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falker planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falka? Far as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Hmm. Well, I'm not happy about working with Dijkstra. I don't trust him. But, Radovid's gotta die. For Triss and Yen's own good. Thought about what you said. That Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovid was alive. You better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand. I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. Okay. How do we end? What exactly do you mean by that? How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. Okay. Yeah, we're not really doing this for politics. But I wouldn't like Radovid to be in charge of everything anyway, just because he's such a massive prick. All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman, itinerant cobbler, that's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar, 
most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint, with a man there who should know more, who calls himself Gregor. Okay. So they have informers in the Redanian army. You let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redanian's king? Ah, uh, you see, there are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Okay. Sure, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Seems like a good thing for us to do. Fine. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. If you can. Remember. The future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Anyone see you coming? No one apart from okay. I'm actually happier with this now that Rosh is involved. He no. seems a more honourable man no. than Dijkstra. I'm not nervous. Just cautious. So Straight we've got to go find this informer in the Rudanian army who will lead us to their spy, an itinerant cobbler. Seems like a good thing to be doing. Evening, ladies. Oh, what time is it? Oh, sorry. Nine o'clock in the morning. Morning, ladies. Alright, let's get out of here. And work out where we need to go next. So, where is this contact I have to speak to? He's down south. Where's that? Okay, he's on one of the border posts. The front line is kind of running along here at the moment. So I guess we're going to want to fast travel to Drahim Castle. And then work our way down there. There's a bunch of undiscovered locations as well. That could be quite good for us to have a nosy around in. Pick up a little bit of experience. Uh, how are we doing on inventory space? Uh, we are a little bit full of stuff. Got some random junk on me. Let's go sort that out, shall we? Where's the nearest market? If we head down to the High Rock Square, we always manage to sell our stuff there. Just got to quickly run through town. And all will be fine, I'm sure. But yes, Rosh is a much nicer man. I trust him much more than Dijkstra. Which isn't so much as to say I'm sure he wouldn't betray me if there was something. You know, if he was in his favour, he would probably turn on me quite quickly. Ooh. Okay. More bloody uh, witch hunters terrorising people. But I've got stuff to do. I can't be around saving everyone from the witch hunters. Although I have killed quite a lot of witch hunters, and I burned down their house, which I'm still a little bit proud of. Top -notch sword. Yeah, I don't want to hear you talk, I just want you to show me your stuff. Show me what you have in stock. I have a problem with NPCs who talk too much when you're just trying to get stuff off them. You've got a lot of money, 4,000 coin. Good, you can buy all the crap I'm carrying. So, we did pick up some trapper's boots, but they are apparently a bit rubbish. We've got some of the usual cheap, nasty weaponry. A Verdant Archer's Gambeson. Not sure where I got that from. Tracker's Gauntlets. Only plus two for light armor. Does have some good resistances, though. Uh, maybe I'll keep those around. Might be worthwhile looking into that later. Um, plus three damage on that Silver Sword, Moonblade. But my current Silver Sword has some pretty good armor piercing, plus a 75% critical hit damage bonus. That's a lot. I think I'm going to stick with Tamer over Moonblade. Yeah, might get rid of that. Those two are both nothing special, so we'll sell all of that. Sell that. We've got a Cockatrice Trophy on us. That's okay, we can leave that there for the time being. Although I will sort those out. Sort them by weight quickly. So they're nice and neatly arranged. Okay, do you have anything I might want to buy? I do have a lot of money, we've got 12,000 coin on us, so doing all these side quests and running around exploring the map is not hurting us in any way, certainly not financially. But no, I think that's okay, we will, uh, let's actually repair all our stuff while we're here. Uh, nothing's too badly damaged, one of our swords is down to 76%, let's just get everything done for 134 coin, that's fine. We'll say farewell to this man. So long. Right. And the good thing about doing all our trading here is that there is a signpost right across the street. 
so we can quickly fast travel down to that castle and move on with our quest. Now I think I'm definitely going to check out some of these undiscovered locations. It kind of makes sense, seeing as how we're so close. And in fact, if we go to Erston and then go that way around, we can hit these three, see what they're all about. Let's do that, shall we? I do like looking at the undiscovered locations. I like exploring. This is why I spend so much time in these games. You know, I never really get around to advancing the plot. It's one good thing about actually doing a YouTube series is it makes me finish, because otherwise I spend so much time playing around with these things that sometimes I just never finish games. It's like I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4 recently. I've got about 28 hours into that, and I don't think I've advanced the main plot beyond, like, the opening tutorial. Oh, we found a monster nest. Um, I don't know where. Oh, hang on, okay. No, I see a bunch of stuff over there. Um... In Dregor. Interesting. Okay. Haven't fought in Dregor for a while. Definitely going to switch back to fire for these guys. And in Dregor Nest appears to be a horrific correction collection rather of eggs. That's quite nasty. Now the workers are nothing. It's the warrior we've got to worry about. Just got to be a little bit careful because yeah, there we go. He's got poison and he's got a quite nasty charge. Damn. Oh. Okay. That yeah, that actually worked out okay. We took a couple of big hits there. But nothing too bad, and we've got plenty of stuff on us. In fact I'm gonna have a ham sandwich. We'll have a quick ham sandwich. Gotta blow this up if I wanna get rid of the Bomb that. There we go. Get away from the explosion, please. Excellent. Oh, there's another corpse there to have. Take all of that stuff. Right, so that was one in Dragonest. What's the next going to be? So close by, I wonder if it might be in Dragor again. There's something over there. Yep, more in Dragor. Kind of makes sense they'd be close by. Yeah, workers are really not a big threat. There's no warrior here. Okay. Gotta blow this up if I want to get rid of the Endrigas. That was nice and easy, that one. Pop a bomb in there. Run away. What the hell? Oh god. Okay, there was an Endriga warrior up in the tree? It just kind of dropped down on me. Interesting. Well, okay, I can handle you. Mm. There we go. Dealt with you. Take all of that. Did we loot the nest yet? No, because there's because something jumped out of the tree at me. Okay, we got out of that one without taking very much damage at all. So there is one last location for us to have a look at down here. Let's see what this is all about. Could be more Andrega. Could just be three Andrega nests right on top of each other. I, I hear lots of noises. What? There's some. Sounds like there's something really close by. Like. I don't know. I don't know what that noise is. Sounds like something big. And stompy. That's not good. I'll admit. Maybe it's a bear. I can hear footsteps. I don't know if they're coming from the recording, but I can definitely hear footsteps. Uh, what do we got here? A monster den. Okay, so this is different than a nest. And... Ooh, okay. Are those neckers? They look like neckers, but they've got feathers or something on their head. That's interesting. There's something else out there as well, a bit further away. I... 
swear I can hear something else. But I can't see another monster or anything. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's beneath me. There's something big beneath me. That's what it is. It's in the monster den. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to go down there. I know I said I was going to do this deadly plot quest, but I need to see what's making all that noise down there. Maybe it's some kind of, like, giant King Necker. Okay, these are level 18 Neckers. That's interesting. And I didn't really get a good look at it. I'm not sure what's on their heads. But uh, it looks like it's a stand... They're wearing helmets. The Neckers are wearing helmets. What the hell? When did Neckers start wearing helmets? Okay. Um. Hmm. I think. I think. I think. I think. Ooh. Damn, that didn't work. I was hoping I could get a bunch of them with an explosion, but. That didn't quite happen. How many bombs have I got? Have I got enough bomb enough bombs to do this again? Maybe. Ah, no, that did nothing. Okay, that's one of them down. That one up there doesn't seem to be too worried about me. Allowing me to get a good critical hit from behind there. This sword is doing pretty well. There's a lot of them in this tunnel. Oh, yeah, I see it. Enjoy some fire, bitches. They don't really want to come out and fight me for some reason. I mean, I can't blame them. I am going to wreck their shit entirely. Hey, Geralt, what are you doing? Good, we took his head clean off there. Okay, let's have some water. That was quite a confined fight. I was worried there for a second, we weren't actually killing any of them, and then I realised there were just more of them appearing constantly. So let's go and have a look, because there's something big in here. I can hear it stomping around. It is very dark, though. If you think you can't see anything, bear in mind I can't see anything. Oh, what the hell? I just saw a shadow move behind one of those rocks. What the hell is down there? Is there a giant necker down here? Do you get giant neckers? I don't know. It's also very dark. I don't like it. Okay, there's a bunch of little ones. And there's something else to the right. It's in the shadows. I can't quite see it. Oh, no, there it goes. It's running around. Well, that's fast. That. That's a troll. That is a troll. Why is there a troll down here with Neckers? I don't know. We have many questions, but I think we have to leave them for next time, because this could go a bit long. What with there being a troll running in circles, if I fight it now? So, we'll pick this up next episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Do leave a like, leave a comment. Feel free to subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you later. Bye.